Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, List Scripts and Skills of a Listing Master with your MAPS coach, Jackie Kravitz. Please note this webinar is being recorded and you will automatically receive the webinar recording. If you have questions for your coach, please type them into the questions box located in your webinar taskbar. Following the webinar, if you have any questions about today's co call or coaching program, please email us at fasttrack at kw.com. That's F-A-S-T-T-R-A-C-K at kw.com. All right, that's all for me. Jackie, go ahead and take it away. Thank you, Jasmine. I appreciate it. And thank you for taking the time to be here today. Um, this is going to be about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. The first 30 minutes of the call, my goal is to give you a lot of great information that you can use to improve your business immediately. And the last couple of minutes, Jasmine will come back on the line. And if you have any questions, we'll go over that. So let's start right here. If you were at family reunion this year, uh, you may remember Gary talking about this. I want you to write this down. Gary said at family reunion, the number one goal that agents that desire to be really successful, you want to be a mega agent, you want to have an, a productive and profitable real estate business. You need to learn lead generation from at least three sources. And then Gary said, learn the rest as you go. Your number one focus should be to learn lead generation, to master lead generation from at least three sources. Now, we know that your database, your MET database, past clients' fear of influence, is the foundation of your business. So that is one source for all of you, your database number one. What should the other two sources be? And remember, it's at least three sources. So when you think about the different options that you have of what lead generation sources to learn, to master and focus on, let me share this with you, and I'm sure all of you know, because you've, you've read the Red Book, MREA, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent, Millionaire Real Estate Agent. And Gary, in that triangle in MREA, tells us, in order to be a millionaire real estate agent, we have to focus on leads, listings, and leverage. And so when you think about these two statements, what Gary said at Family Reunion and MREA, lead generation, why do you need to lead generate? Well, you only need to lead generate if you want to be a millionaire real estate agent because to, to be the average agent out there, you may not need to lead generate, and yet I know none of you are average. Number one, because you're Keller Williams agents. Number two, you're on, you're on this webinar. And so why is lead generation so important? Because MREA says, focus on leads, listings, leverage. In order to take listings, you have to go on listing appointments. I know this seems obvious what's on the screen right now, and yet, Clarity is power. So I want you to go ahead and take a picture of the screen so you could remember. In order to take listings, you have to go on appointments. In order to go on appointments, listing appointments, you have to set those appointments. And in order to set listing appointments, you have to lead generate. Listing appointments are not going to – occasionally you may have someone calling you knocking on your door, walking into your office and saying, come list to me. How often does that happen? Well, the average real estate agent in the United States sells under a handful of homes a year. So if you're going to sit and wait for business to come to you, you're going to end up with the same results that the average agent get. And I know that's not why you're here. You're here to take your business to the next level and become the next millionaire real estate agent. Now, 
I happen to teach a group program for MAPS called Dominate Your Market. And this program is focused on FISBOs and expireds. And I know the minute you hear FISBOs and expireds, some of you just don't like it at all. Maybe you've had an experience where you called a FISBO and expired and they were rude, they hung up, whatever happened. Or maybe you heard some negative things from other agents about FISBOs and expireds and you don't like them. I propose to you today that for sale by owners and expired listings, be those two other sources of business that Gary said, focus on and learn at least three. Databases number one, FISBOs and expireds would be number two and number three. And why is that? Because FISBOs and expireds are what Diana calls high impact calls. These are low hanging fruit. These are easy listings for every single one of you. Listings. You're not focusing on buyers. You're not counting on website or uh, internet leads, buyer leads, which the majority of these internet leads are buyers. You're focusing on the low hanging fruit. Where can you, or I should say, who can you call? For the first time when you walk in the office in the morning, you call someone you don't know and you have an opportunity to set an appointment and go on that appointment the same day and take a listing and this was not even a lead you had. This is just a complete stranger that you called and because you knew what to say and how to say it, you were able to overcome their objections powerfully. You closed. You set an appointment, you went out and you took a listing. Fizzbos and expired give you that opportunity right there. You can literally make a fortune with for sale by owners and expired listings. And when you combine that with your database and you have these three sources, you will have an amazing business. I am a boat coach and I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have taken bold. If you have not yet, we have a new bond, bold starting mid-April. So go on mapscoaching.com, click on the bold tab, sign up for a bold near you. In bold, step two, we teach you expired. Step three, we teach you for sale by owners. We teach you the database in step four and step five. Diana and Gary understand the importance of these three sources. And there's something in red here in the middle of the screen right now, and I want you to write this down. Again, it may seem obvious, and I want you to write down the only purpose of your lead generation is to set listing appointments. Remember, MREA says leads listings leverage. It's not leads buyers leverage. It's not leads buyers and listings leverage. Well, should you be working with buyers? Absolutely only the ready, willing, and able buyers. Now, if I focus on listings, where are the buyers going to come from? The single best source of the highest quality buyers that you can find come from having well-priced listings. This is why Gary says focus on leads listing leverage because the buyers are going to come as a result of the listings that you have. So the only purpose of lead generation is to set listing appointments. There's a bold law that says what you focus on expands. On your lead generation, your focus is setting listing appointments. Now, let me go to the next page. <clears throat> Write this down. There is no better source of immediate business than FISBOs and expires. There is no better source. Every single lead generation call that you make, every single call, the purpose is to find someone that wants to sell their house so you could set an appointment, go on that appointment, and take a listing. That's the purpose of it. And there are different. There are different prospects you can call. You can certainly the database, yes? Remember Gary says to get that 12 to 2 ratio, 
two closed transactions a year from every 12 people in your database. To get those results, you have to have your database on a 33 or a 36 touch for two to three years. Yeah? So it takes some time to build that consistency of the business that you're going to get from your database. Fizzbos and expires are immediate. In addition to your database, you have some other options of who you can lead generate to. You can call around listings and sales, circle prospecting. You can, you can make some business contacts. We teach that in step four of bold, the yellow pages exercise. You can, uh, you can farm a certain area, which would be like circle prospecting. You can do open houses, there, or you could go door knocking a neighborhood. There are different ways to lead generate. There is no better lead generation source than Fizzbos and Expired to set appointments immediately. And again, this is why Diana calls Fizzbos and Expired high impact calls. You're talking to people that want to sell their house. It doesn't matter what the market conditions are. It could be a buyer's market. It could be a seller's market. Fizzbos and expires are in every market, in every market condition. Some, depending, let's say if you're in a buyer's market, meaning there's a lot of inventory in your multiple listing, right? Buyer's market. Buyers have lots of choices. You're going to have more expires than FISBOs. You're still ha gonna have FISBOs in a buyer's market. Now, in a seller's market, low inventory, properties are selling quickly. You're, you're still gonna have some expired because agents will overprice properties. They'll take short, shorter listings. And so list there will be expired listings in a seller's market. And you'll have more for sale by owners. Bottom line is the market conditions, do, they don't matter. The part of the North America that you're in, it doesn't matter. Fizzbos and expires are available in every market under any market conditions. Now, write this down about expires. This is one of the things that I love about expires. 50% of them will relist the property within 48 hours. And some of you may be thinking, oh, won't they relist with the same agent? No, not, not most of them. Some of them might. Yeah, most of them do not. Most expireds will look for another agent. They've already been through a negative experience with their previous agent. The, the biggest complaint that expireds have is about their previous agent, the lack of communication and the fact that the home didn't sell. This is a tremendous opportunity for you. And Certainly, obviously, these are new expireds, right? They relist within 48 hours. And there are also some expireds that will stay off the market for a little while. And old expireds are also a good source of business. New expireds, immediate business. So if you want those listings, these new expireds that come out of the market, it's clear based on the fact that they release within 48 hours that you have to be very aggressive in reaching them as soon as possible. You have to be calling expires every day, Monday through Friday, and maybe even Saturday morning. Saturday morning is a great time to lead generate, especially if you didn't achieve your goal of listing taken for the week. You should have a goal for listings taken every single week. And if you didn't achieve your goal and you didn't achieve your goal of listing appointments set for the week, Saturday morning is a great time to lead generate. Now, do I have to be working Saturdays? No, absolutely not. If you do your job efficiently and you're focused Monday through Friday on your lead generation, you can take the weekends off, especially since you are going to be listing agents. You're going to follow the MREA model. And you're gonna, you're also gonna follow the model that we teach in bold. We've been focusing on getting you to take more listings in bold as well, because that is the the MREA model. So, in order to list these new expires, let me go back here a moment. You cannot call them the day after they expired. 
or two or three days later. Why? Because within 48 hours, they're going to be back in the MLS. A lot of them actually release the same day. They expired today, March 7th. They came in your, they, they, they turned into an expired listing in your MLS today. By the end of the day today, another agent is listing that property already. A lot of them. Now, as I said, old expires are a good source of business too. So it doesn't it, it doesn't mean that you're going to ignore the old expires. There's just urgency with the new ones. Urgency, urgency, urgency. Now let's talk about for sale by owners. I mean, it, to me, this gets me so exciting because, again, the purpose of lead generation is to find people who want to buy and sell. We're, we're, we're leaving the buyers out for now because we know the buyers are going to come out of the listings that you have. And so we're looking for people that want to sell. Well, every for sale by owner that you call wants to sell their house. Everyone. So if you're circle prospecting, you can call, or you may need to, to talk to, I should say, because calling and talking to people, right? Totally different uh, conversation here. You might have to talk to 100, 200, 300, 400 people, circle prospecting, to find someone who wants to sell now, right now. How about for sale owners? How many FISBOs do you have to call to find someone who wants to sell now? Everyone. You don't need to talk to 100, 200, or 300 people. Every single for sale by owner that you call wants to sell the property. In fact, they are already selling it. It's for sale. And they don't have an agent yet. There is no better source of listings than for sale by owners. 80% of them list with an agent within three weeks. It doesn't matter what they tell you because a lot of physicals, when you first call them, they sound completely unmotivated. They sound like they're not in a hurry. They don't care if they sell. If they sell it, great. If they don't sell it, it's okay too. Lack of motivation. And yet, 80% of them, within three weeks, they're listed with an agent. In bold, Diana says, FISBO stand for, you see the acronym right there, fastest source of business opportunity. When Diana was selling real estate, she says every year she would sell at least 40, 41 for sale by owners every single year, at least. Diana understands how this is the fastest source of business opportunity and you need to take advantage of that. Now, I know that some of you are not calling FISBOs either because you've called them in the past and didn't get good results or you've heard of someone that called them and didn't get good results. When I was selling real estate, I was listing 150 FISBOs and expired a year. That, I, well, I, I am not proud to say that I didn't work my database. I made FISBOs and expired my one thing. And by the way, not working my database was the biggest mistake I made when I was selling real estate. Now, I made physicals and expired my one thing. It worked out for me. It worked out great. So if anybody tells you, oh, this, you know, they have negative stories about drunk monkeys and limiting beliefs about physicals and expired, there are plenty of real estate agents like me that had a tremendously successful business from physicals and expired. So you, by by focusing on your database and physicals and expires, those three sources, wow, explosion, amazing, incredible business. Now, I know that one of the reasons why you may not call them is you don't know what to say. You don't know how, do, do they give you objections? Yes, physicals and expires are the, the, the prospect types that will give you the most objections. And in Dominate Your Market, this group program that I coach for MAP that's starting next Friday, I'll give you the details in just a couple of minutes. In this program, you're going to get rid of that reason for not calling or not liking them, not knowing what to say. I don't know how to handle objections. I don't know how to close. I don't know how to do a presentation to a FISB or an expired. 
that's going to end in dominate your market because you're going to learn exactly what to say and how to say it. I'm going to give you some scripts in just a, a moment here, coming up on, on the next few slides. For now, how do you speak with a FISB or an expired? Number one skill is to mirror and match. You learned that at, in first step to bold. And I'm going to talk about this a lot in Dominate Your Market to teach you how to do it. In the program, the first 30 minutes is instruction. The next 20 minutes are role plays. The last 10 minutes is going to be Q&A. So it's an hour call every week for 12 weeks. And this mirroring and matching is something that not only I'm going to teach you um, what it is, I'm going to show you through role plays so you could hear what that sounds like. And you, you can then work to master it. It's a critical skill to build rapport, to build instant rapport with people you don't know, mirroring and matching. Also, when you speak with FISBOs and expires, I mean, this goes for everyone, right? When you're calling people in your database, past clients, sphere of influence, they know you. They've worked with you in the past or their friends. You're naturally in rapport. So the mirroring and matching, do I, I don't need to mirror and match people I know. You already mirror and match each other naturally because you're in rapport. You know them. This is for people you don't know or if you ever feel out of rapport even with people you know. And then you need to speak with confidence. Confidence. Take it till you make it. Well, I don't have confidence. I'm new to real estate. I haven't sold any houses yet. How am I supposed to sound confident? Fake it till you make it. In bold, you watch a video of Mo Anderson, and she says, when you act enthusiastic, you will be enthusiastic. It's one of the best phrases ever because it's true. If you say, well, I'm not enthusiastic. Well, act enthusiastic, you'll be enthusiastic. Same thing with confidence. When you act confidently, you'll be confident. Pretend it's an acting job. It is an acting job, yes? If you are getting paid a million dollars a year to play the role of a confident real estate agent, can you play that role? Absolutely. Confident, authority. Well, I don't feel like an authority. You know, I just don't have the experience. Again, play that role because it is critical. Think about expired listings. It says expired up on top. This applies to FIS FISBOs too, okay? So FISBOs and expired. Let's talk about expired for a moment. They had their house listed for sale for six months. It didn't sell. Do you think they're going to even consider spending any time talking to or meeting with or listing with an agent that's not confident? They've already wasted six months. They're looking for an aggressive agent, an agent who sounds confident, who speaks with authority, have high energy. A mirror and match, by the way, is the first few seconds of the call, really the first line of the script is where you mirror and match. And if you do it correctly, you'll be in rapport. And then your job is to get them excited. And if you're not excited, and that's where the high energy comes in, if you have low energy and you're not excited about getting their house sold, why would they give you an appointment? Why would they consider listing with you? They're looking for an aggressive agent, someone with the confidence, with the authority that knows what they're doing, that sounds like they know what they're doing because they want to get the property sold. They're, they're not going to list with a, you know, kind of easygoing, passive. No, no, no. Motivated sellers. Please write this down. It's not on the screen. Motivated sellers are looking for an aggressive agent. A motivated seller doesn't have time to waste. They're looking for a go-getter someone that knows what they're doing and someone who can get them excited about what they can do for the seller. FISBOs. FISBOs will list with the first agent who can show them there is value in paying a commission. 
the number one reason why someone will sell for sale by owner is to save money. They're looking to save the commission. Yeah, that's the number one reason. They may have an other reasons. They had a bad experience with a real estate agent. You know, even if a homeowner had a bad experience with a real estate agent, if they knew that selling on their own would cost them money, they wouldn't do it. They would go find another agent. They may not list with the same one they had a bad experience with. They would be looking for another agent. And the reason why they sell on their own is they don't see the value. They think they could do the same thing that you can do and save money. And if you're in that situation, you'd be doing the same thing. And when you are the agent who can show them value, you'll take that listing. That's why, again, step three of bold, you watch Diana's problem presentation, her problem presentation, showing helping FISBOs understand they have problems and you can solve those problems. The problems cost them money. You can solve those problems and that's how you're going to net in more money. In Dominate Your Market, we're going to spend an entire hour and I'm going to expand on that problem presentation you learned from Diana in Bolt and give you all of the scripts and that, when I say all, I mean all overwhelmed your toolbox is going to have so many tools strategies statistics evidence scripts and dialogues way more than you'll probably ever need to use on a on a for sale by owner appointment and yet that's going to give you the confidence you need to call them and set appointments and go out and know that you can take those listings so quickly here, how do we handle fizzles and expires over the phone? We don't. Hey, you should be excited about that. You don't have to handle objections over the phone. Over the phone, you listen intently. Whatever the objection is, you repeat and approve. You ask a question to get their attention. It's misspelled. I have to correct it. Get their attention. T H E I R, and then close for the appointment ask for the appointment at least five times you don't handle the objection the objections are going to be handled in person well if you ask for the appointment they don't give you the appointment you go back again listen intently repeat and approve and again in dominate your market you're not just going to learn the 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 how to do it you know i'm not just going to tell you how you're not going to learn or, or how you're not just going to learn the theory of it you're going to hear me do it on every call i'm going to role play for at least 20 minutes so you're going to see this in action and all these calls are recorded you could go back and listen to them again and again and again please take a picture of what you see on the screen right now because we don't have a lot of time and I want you to have this. So take a picture and then you can type it up later. These are questions to get FISBOs, FISBO, FISBOs, yes, to get their attention. So on the previous screen, handling objections, listen, repeat, and approve, ask a question to get their attention and ask for the appointment. Those are some of the questions that you can use to get their attention. Expired, question to get their attention and close. Here are three different ones for you. So take your phone, take a picture of it so you have that. In Dominate Your Market also, you're going to have closes, objection handlers, the scripts. You're going you're gonna to be able to download all of that from an online portal. And you'll have all of that in addition to obviously being on the calls every week and having the recordings of the calls. So the next Dominate Your Market starts a week from tomorrow, March 15th at 1 p.m. Central Time. These are one-hour calls, 12 calls in total, 12 weeks. The cost of this program is $396. The total cost for the entire three months are 12 calls. And there's a special coupon code that was offered at Family Reunion, and it's FR 2019. If you use that coupon code and you register by midnight tomorrow, it's going to expire at midnight tomorrow, 
you'll be able to take 15% off. So it's going to cost you under $340 to be in this program. When you think about the potential and the amount of money you can make from mastering FISBOs and expireds, why would you even hesitate for a second in investing in yourself and your business? For three, under $340, you can make a fortune. Now, if you take and dominate your market before, and some of you might have taken it before, this new launch starting next uh, Friday, I've updated the script as well as the material for the program. And because of this shifting market, I've added three call topics, which, by the way, shifting market, not shifting market, these call topics all of you need to master. So these are new, pricing and price reduction, overcoming the commission objection, and using market stats. There's so much, so much power in, 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 in understanding and using market stats. There are stats embedded in the script, in the listing presentation you learn in bold. There are stats about how many homes are for sale, how many are selling per month. There's so many ways to use market stats, including when Facebook expires, you set an appointment, they're interviewing other agents, how we can use market stats in those situations as well. So these are going to be three new amazing, I'm so excited about these three new call topics and all of the updates that I've done. And this is going to be a webinar too, which in the past it was a conference call, now it's going to be a webinar. So I'm really excited. Um, Jasmine, if you're still on the line and there are any questions on the screen, I'd be happy to answer them. Okay. Um, once. Okay. So um, Stan was just asking, he said he's taken Dominate Your Market in the past and wanted to know what was new about the new Dominate Your Market. Um, so I think you touched on that a little bit. Um, so the new format mm -hmm. is that it will be a webinar. So you'll be able to see the webinar slides and hear Jackie go through those slides. So that's one of the new um, fe features. It's de delivered in a new format. And like Jackie said, there are three new call topics for the program as yeah, well. Yeah, and, and, and again, Jasmine, the scripts have also been updated. They're not completely different. There are some updates and changes to make them even easier and better for you to set appointments. And the, the material as well. I've just, you know, I've been teaching Dominate Your Market for six, seven years now, maybe eight. I don't know. It's been a long time. So I, I've, I've done some updates based on everything that that we've experienced over the last few years so it's better than ever all right and the other question was are there any reasonably priced public resources to get phone numbers besides a contracted service um yes uh, i believe there are as maps coaches we're not really uh, able to give you any any names of different companies you would have to you could speak with your team leader your productivity coach or just go online and 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 search that way there are a lot of different options and even the the, the services that you pay for again the investment is is minute compared to the the opportunity that you will have you 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 take one expired listing and one FISBO that sell and it pays for the service, it pays for this program or whatever it is you're paying for, for years to come. So well worth it. Okay, great. Um, someone else asked if this was being recorded. Yes, it is being recorded and we will send out to the recording to everyone who attended the webinar, um, as well as a link to the program if you're interested in looking at that. And then that was the last question. So if anyone else has any right. other questions, you can get them in now. Otherwise, they could they could email fasttrack at kw.com, right, Jasmine? Yes. Uh, so someone Are asked, we do we? Yep. Yeah. So the last question, do we get all the scripts right away? Uh, in, when you sign up for Dominate Your Market, yes. 
uh, they they are uploaded, and uh, Jasmine will take care of that for us. Uploaded on a on an online portal that you'll have access to, and you'll be able to get all of the scripts immediately. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yep, all right, Jasmine. It. Sounds good. Thank you so much, everyone, again for joining us, and I look forward to having all of you and dominate your market. Have an amazing rest of the week. Bye-bye, everyone.